Hello guys, welcome back to our channel and in this video, I'll be showing you how to create a financial board in monday.com. So let's start. First, open your monday.com account and here, go to the workspace where you want to create your financial board. Here, you can now create a new board by clicking on this plus button, then select new board. Name it to your desired name. For example, I'll name it Financial Board. After that, create the board. Here, you can first clean the board by deleting all of these unnecessary items and groups. After cleaning the board, you can now start customizing it to your liking. You can add columns to track your income, expenses, and saving goals. Simply, click on this plus icon, then in this menu, Choose the type of column you want. For example, I will choose numbers, then I'll rename it to expenses. Basically, that's how you create a financial board. You just need to add columns, items, and groups to complete your board. If you don't want to manually make columns and items, another easy way you can do is by using templates. Just click on this plus button again. And in this window, select this option, Choose from Templates. In here, you will be able to see several templates that you can use on your workspace. But in this video, we are going to find the template that you can use as your financial board. Simply use this search bar and search for Finance. Here, you can see several templates related to Finance. Just choose the template that fits to your liking. For example, I will use this financial statement. Just click on this template and here, simply click on this use template button. Here, you will just wait for a few seconds. Now, you can see this is the financial statement template that we get from the template center. It has all the things that you will need for managing your finances. If some columns are unnecessary, you can rename or delete the pre-made columns to fit your specific financial needs. For example, you want to delete this gross sales. Simply click on these three dots, then delete the column. You can also add new columns, new items, and new groups. Basically, you can just modify this template to complete your desired financial board. So that's it. That is how you create a financial board in monday.com. I hope you find this video helpful. And if you do, kindly give us a like and subscribe to our channel. Thank you very much and see you on the next video.